What's going on, YouTubers? Uh, this is my second act of the 2020 Land Rover Discovery. I'm here at the uh, airport in Fort Payne, Alabama, and I decided to uh, show you the engine compartment and some other stuff. So let's. I apologize, it is a little dirty, but this is a supercharged V6 340, 340 horse engine. And like I said, it will flat out fly when you're uh, driving it. It's probably, uh, the, I made a comment about the Bronco being slow. It's probably the gearing, but it is what it is. And uh, let's go ahead and talk more about it. Here, the reason why I think you should uh, look at it or try it is because number one, it is four wheel drive. Will it uh, go in places that Wranglers or Jeeps mostly go in high uh, four by four and probably not, but for the average person that gets around town, needs something good in snow and and other uh, adverse things, definitely a great option. The price is a little higher. Yes, I agree. It's made in uh, Nitra, uh, Slovakia. Is where the Discovery is made. Uh, I personally have a friend that's not too far from the plant there. In the future, I'll probably be doing a review from the plant eventually. And uh, keep watching. Check that out. If you're liking my reviews and uh, liking my channel, please hit like and subscribe. And let's talk more about this car. Um, as far as me personally, I think uh, it's a lot more re uh, redefined. It has a lot more comforts. Uh, the center console can come with a uh, cooled chiller so you can put your ice cold beverages in there and keep it cold. It comes with the... Uh, pad where you can uh, charge your cell phone without the cords anymore which a lot of companies are doing that but one thing that not all the companies are doing is putting heated seats cooled seats but this option not many are you can actually get massaging chairs in the discovery the 2022 uh, models which I've already looked at definitely think about getting one has uh, massaging chairs. Is that great for uh, long trips? Absolutely. I do a lot of traveling, as you know. I travel all the time doing these reviews and uh, other things. Um, as far as reliability, um, personally, I haven't had much problems with it. I have other people, yes. Um, one great option for this specific vehicle is that you only change the oil once a year, which is an average twelve to 15,000 miles a year. That is great. To me, it's uh, less hassle. Um, there's just a lot of uh, perks uh, in this specific vehicle, the Land Rover Discovery, um, that I personally like. Am I still um, going to want to go 4x4? And yeah, I can do it in this, but the extremes, no. But as far as ride comfort with the uh, airbag shocks and everything that's in this vehicle, I absolutely love it. Would I buy one? Absolutely. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Is it for everybody? No. If you like a more rough rough ride and uh, it is geared lower in you know, extreme terrain, Bronco or the Jeep is a better option. But for me, I personally like having both, so I'm going to try both of them out. I already have the 2022 coming, and uh, definitely going to think about uh, getting one of these. I know it's hard to get cars right now, so that's why I'm kind of holding off um, uh, the review I actually did on the Ford Bronco actually was sold within a few days uh, some person contacted and was paying over 12000 over what it was purchased for so obviously uh, the keys were gone here, here you go so as the uh, time comes and things get back to normal hopefully cars will come back down and uh, if you're looking to get a car right now, don't suggest it because of the high markets and and uh, it's ten to twenty thousand dollars over uh, sticker price. I've seen people talking about it. Um, there's a few dealerships that I know only charge sticker. That if you uh, want to uh, uh, reach out, I'll definitely tell you who they are as far as Ford and different places. And uh, peace out. Be safe, everybody. Like I said, if you like. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Um, yep. Have a good one. Bye.